Hi guys, this is Rob Deluxe Gaming, and I have a special treat for everybody today. Today, guess what we're going to do? We're going to do some tournament play. So the problem I had before is just I didn't know how to use this thing. So I, I know there's supposed to be official tournaments that are, I think, led by Anisoptric Games. However, that hasn't come to fruition yet. I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know. But in the meantime, we can still have tournaments with our ships that in our own fleets as well as with our friends. So what I'd like to do is do a part-time series with reassembly where we where I pit the high well we can even do different leagues. We could do uh, you know little league with uh, you know middle leagues and heavy heavyweight leagues, you know like the highest P so only ships that are 8000 P can enter kind of thing. So and uh, you know this is kind of what I'm thinking for today. We are actually going to pit all of the 8,000 P ships against each other from both my ships and whoever else is on my friends list. So we're going to take a quick look through the ships here and see if we can find any more 8,000 P ships to pit against the Piercing Needle and the Alpha Queen Mother. And if we have time, maybe we'll do more. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe there isn't any 8,000 P. Ah, here we go. So this is... Uh, so who is this? This is Metro Force. These are just people that are on my friends list and they have created ships. And oh, that that looks awesome. So it's a carrier. Ooh, I can't wait. So this is neat. So this is, we're doing our own little tournament. So this is gonna be a part-time series. I'm not gonna do this all the time, but when there is ships available to pit against, you know, maybe we could do the league. We'll, we'll do seven to 8,000. So the ships have to be seven to 8,000 P in order to be entered. And what, what's the winner get? Well, they get the title. <laughs> I don't have anything else to give right now. We, we, we are going to be doing the giveaway in this episode um, as soon as we get going here. I just want to be sure that we've got some ships fighting first off. Sorry, I just already looked at that one. Oh, wow. That's... I wonder what kind of guns those are. That looks like a really small ship, but it's got two really big guns on it, I guess. I don't know. Weird. So it's just awesome looking through all your guys' ships. It's amazing. Mystic, mystical Meerkat. Great name! Oh, you know the uh, we're gonna we might you know if it, if this does get popular, if people like having their ships pitted against each other, you know what? Maybe we'll do a middle league and we'll do a little league as well. I think that'd be kind of fun. Uh, but in the meantime, we're just gonna pick the big ships, the biggest ships that are available. So the seven to eight thousand P, and see who comes out the winner. And of course, I'm hey, I'm cheating. I have two ships that are eight thousand right now. Ooh, drone box alpha. Who is that? That is. Lord, I should be writing these down, actually. Okay, yeah, I'm going to be keeping track of the names uh, for each one of these guys, so we can give you credit, proper credit. So Mega Carrier is Metro Force. Warm Farm Agent Hunt, or sorry, Weed Farm Agent Hunter is Bananas. Great name, Bananas, I love it. Uh, then we have Mothership from Rune Raider. Yes, we know him from the channel. I'm sure I know all of you guys from the channel. I just, I, I, I might not recognize your names, and sometimes your names are different in Steam versus you know, YouTube, so I apologize if I if I get things messed up, but I'm doing my best here. And we have uh, Lord Diamond 02 with the Drone Box Alpha. Okay, so we'll just keep looking here and see if we can find any more contenders for our first, first ever Deluxe Gaming Tournament. Wait, Solar Yacht, 9,632p. Hmm, sorry, that's too many points. I think the max has to be 8,000. I'm not even sure. Oh, it's, uh, well, it's part of his, oh, okay, I know how he did that, but yeah, okay. Yeah, I know, he's, he's too big. It's gotta be between seven and 8,000 for this first round. You know, maybe we'll establish different parameters for the next one, unnamed spaceship, sure. And who is this? This is Chaza. Chaza, you are entered to win the title with unnamed spaceship. That is a great name. I know, it's the default name. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just writing it down here. Sorry, it takes a second. Okay. And then we have... Keep going. Uh, oh, so close. So close. You need a little bit more. I would have loved to throw this this uh, this faction in on this one. But, uh, yeah. I think that's the red faction. I'm not sure. Space Whales. What are, oh, yes. Okay, so we got a few here for Space Whales. We've got... Uh, a station? No, can't do a station. Missile Storm. Oh, I bet you that's good. Spawner Probe. Farm Base Alpha Cruiser. It's a very small ship for 7,995p. I think we'll go for his Mothership class, because that looks like the biggest class, and it looks like it uh, 
it's probably the most balanced. I don't know, space whales. Okay, so let me just write that down. Sorry if that's a, a pain for you guys. Uh, I know, sometimes you just gotta wait. And that is Mothership. A lot of motherships here. At least two so far. All right, and then we got... Uh, oh God, I can't pronounce that. Xeno Combine Destroyer. There we go, yeah. Xeno Combine Destroyer. Writing it. Combine Destroyer. <laughs> awesome name. I, you know, we should almost, we should almost do a contest where we're, you know, uh, checking names. You know, like a contest to see who has the best name, the most unique designs, and stuff like that too. And that is Sambone. 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 Three four three. Awesome and main. Oh, wow, we got a lot. But there's a lot of entries here. And if and if you don't get picked, it just means that. Uh, Oh, no, I, I got, it's got to be between seven and 8,000 for this round. And like I said, if this becomes popular and people like this this little part-time series, you know, maybe we'll we'll step it up and we'll do more. But uh, for now, we're just going to just do this seven, eight, th seven to 8,000. Okay, so the U.S. Who is this? This is uh, Sea Joker 98. So hold on, Sea Joker. <laughs> 98. And we are entering in the... USS Export Battleship Awesome Okay, very good Neat looking ship, I like that Okay, who else do we have here? We have Ethan Oh yeah, Ethan's got one Killer Alright Ethan Killer Okay it was Ethan. Yeah, just straight up Ethan. Okay, and then <laughs> Janosaur. Good name. Oh, so close. So close, Janosaur. Uh, and uh, that's it. That's all we have that's on my screen, Steam friends list. And I'm assuming to be on this list. You, to, to get put onto this list, all you have to do is friend me on Steam. And I still have lots of room for friends, guys. And uh, if you have a creation, it should appear on here. So I'm pretty excited. So here we go. There's two different types of tournament one is bracket one is pool pool will just one by one everybody will be kind of pitted against each other whereas bracket does this sort of orderly kind of you know like if, if you're looking at a league like a league style breakdown okay so if we go start I, I haven't I've only I've went in and I've done this once but I haven't actually looked at it all the way through to see what would happen or anything so this is our first time yeah so this is what I'm talking about so it's gonna pit Xeno Combine Destroyer against USS Export battleship. So here we go. <laughs> oh, very good. Wow. Clean sweep. Now I think it does best out of three. Look at that. Oh, nice. Just yeah. No, no. Hands down. No question. USS. So who is that? That is C Joker. C Joker has won against those two. Okay. So this is the carrier. This is Mega Carrier by Metro Force fighting against oh a mothership uh, space whale. Oh go oh cut him in half. Plasmas plasmas win the day. So it launches the fighters. I just don't know if the fighters are fast enough to get in there to do enough damage. Now that carry see this is an unfair tournament in a lot of ways because of course people didn't know I was going to be doing this and of course you'd be building ships more geared oh. My first fight with the Alpha Queen Mother, and again using, wow, again using those fighters. I don't know if my fighters will be able to get, whoa, so we must be using, what is he using? Whoa, right on. What kind of guns is, I think that's the race, that the, the faction that can build custom guns. So my fighters, uh, my fighters are, they just can't keep up with him. He's moving too fast. I wonder how... Is there a time limit? There must be a time limit. And I wonder if it's based... If there still can be a winner based on... Uh, yeah, it looks like he's getting points. He's doing damage, right? I'm not doing any damage. So he is actually winning this battle. So it's about how many points you get. And you get points by doing damage. Brilliant. Brilliant! So who's Killer? Killer is Ethan. Interesting. Very unique ship design, Ethan. I am very impressed. Every time he fires those guns, it accelerates his ship, too. Fantastic. And look, the Alpha Queen Mother is getting the crap beat out of her. <laughs> oh, it's a tragedy. <laughs> uh, okay, 17 seconds. 
Almost over. It's almost over. And I think I'll have another chance, but there's no way. So I think we might have to fast forward the next round because, of, wow. Yeah, well done. Well done, killer. Or well done. Who is that? That is Ethan. Well done, Ethan. Okay, so this is the next round. I am just going to fast forward this round because we all know how this is going to end. Alright, yeah, we all knew how that was going to end. <laughs> well done, Ethan. You you completely outclassed the Alpha Queen Mother. Well done. Oh, so we have Mothership versus USS Export Battleship. Mothership is Rune Raider. Rune Raider! Oh, this is a good fight. Oh, look at this. Both with plasmas, I think. Uh, I'm not sure. Wow. That battleship, I tell you. That is a nice ship. Alright, here we go again. So... Oh, 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 just, just cuts right through those, those plasmas. I think they're plasmas in there that are just chewing, they just cut straight through. So it looks like the USS Export Battleship is part of the final battles now. Oh, the nettle! The nettle is all missiles, that's right. <laughs> I don't know that my ships will do that well here, but the nettle, I don't know, because eventually those missiles are going to hit and... They might just do enough damage. This might be a good fight. Come on! The Nettle. Oh, the Dark Horse. The Nettle might actually pull it off. Um, just there's a lot of schmutz, like, garbage to shoot through on the Nettle, too. Like, I don't know. Can... Oh, broke off a piece entirely. Wow. Okay, didn't see... Wow! It's like he separated from the main ship. That is, uh, that's pretty cool, actually. That was neat. Oh, the nettle. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought the nettle would do so well? Look at that. So I don't know if they reassemble in this or, or damage is permanent. I don't know. I think they actually do reassemble. The piercing nettle. Hey, one for the Eldrovan. Fantastic. Okay, so let's try this again. Can we do it again? Oh, right. We just got to, those missiles just keep, and look, they, they, even the ones that, fire the opposite direction it's like they wait until he kind of turns and then they, they get him from the other angle I, I think having the guns firing both directions is a brilliant tactic for many types of ships and for this particular ship the nettle actually it was it's it's a good design I actually really like it I think it's better in a many ways than the insectoid design maybe not for everything but definitely for a fight like that and there's a lot of stuff to shoot through on the nettle it's just a big ship it's slow though. It is slow. Okay, so now we have the Weed Farm Agent Hunter by Bananas fighting against Killer. And of course, we saw Killer destroy, just waste the insectoid Alpha Queen Mother. And it looks like he's going to do the same thing to the Weed Farm Agent Hunter. Nice colors. I like the Weed Farm Agent Hunter. Uh, to, eh. Weed, <laughs> can't say that really fast. Weed Farm Agent Hunter colors are really good. I love that, uh, that kind of that red neon green purpley oh that looks really cool i really like it well done killer takes the shot and just wastes him beautiful so it's a nice combination so those fighters kind of keep the enemy occupied see i i don't know the wheat farm hunter he doesn't seem to have oh he's got those slow missiles those missiles are just way too slow there's no way so it looks like it's the same race the virus oh Wow, beautiful shot. Those guns are impressive, Killer. Or Ethan, rather. Okay, so now we have the Piercing Nettle against Killer. Oh, this could be a good fight or not. I don't know. Killer's got to do a lot of damage here. And, yeah, he's got to keep his distance because, mind you, those guns, they, they do hit the missiles too as well. I don't know. I don't know. He's got to fight off a lot of missiles. A lot of missiles coming in, and he's using up all his power to take him out. See, this is the missiles or might actually... Nope. Nope. As soon as he gets a chance to fire those guns guns, guns off, he can get some space in between him and his enemy. So, I don't know. This... The Nettle... Oh, the Killer's actually getting more points. I don't understand how Killer would be getting more points. He's actually inflicting more damage on the Nettle than the Nettle is on Killer. So, I don't know. I think the Killer would... Killer would have to make a serious mistake here at this point in order to lose 
as long as he can use those guns to kind of push himself away, he can keep doing more damage than the Nettle. But for him to get that final blow, to actually kill Nettle, might be uh, might be pretty tough. Oh, <laughs> Nettle did get 18 points there. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, not enough. That means we got one hit, maybe with a missile. He's got to do a lot more damage than that. I don't know. In that, it was a good fight. I I think that uh, Killer's got it though. Yeah, Killer's got it. He's done just just. More damage. Simply, he's just done more damage. But he, like, there was no way that Killer was going to get in there and make the kill. Maybe if it was player controlled, he might. But uh, there's a lot of a lot of missiles to contend with. Yeah. No. Oh, beautiful, beautiful job by Killer. Okay, so we get to see the next round. Actually, totally worthwhile watching. That is, uh, I, I didn't, I didn't know how that was going to turn out. Now, if Killer makes a mistake, but the question is, is, is that even possible? Like. I, there's just so many missiles. So many missiles. Uh, yeah, so Killer's already getting those points because the Nettle doesn't have a way to efficiently destroy those fighters or... I think they're fighters or missiles that are coming. I think they're miss... Uh, fighters. They're fighters. So the fighters are doing just enough damage to win the round. Absolutely brilliant. Good design, Killer. Actually, it's really impressive. I think having those fighters on that ship is paying dividends. Now, if the Nettle had, uh, I don't know. I don't know how the Nettle could actually pull that off. The Nettle would just, yeah, see, as soon as he uses that gun, yeah, and, and when he uses that gun, he actually gets a few more points for doing more damage, right? So he saves, he conserves his energy to fight off the missiles, and then when it gets too close to the Nettle, then he does the, uh, he fires his rounds, and boom, he gets away. So, I think we're going to give that one to the net, uh, to Killer again. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. So Killer has single-handedly destroyed both of my 8,000p ships in uh, in three battles. So well done, well done, Ethan. I am very impressed with your ship designs, or ship design, I guess, uh, for an 8,000p ship. It is it's it's unique, definitely unique, and it it has won the day. Well done, and done. Perfect. Okay, so that brings us to. The battleship USS export battleship. So this is C Joker 98 versus Ethan. This should be a good fight. I don't know if the battleship can get close enough. I think my my money's on Ethan. My money is on Killer. I think Killer will take this battle. I just don't think the battleship can get close enough. The battleship is relying on weapons that require him getting pretty close, and Killer can just keep the range. Right? Those guns are impressive. Now, that is the race, or faction four, I think it's four on the list, it's, I think it's those colors too. And they have, uh, they have custom guns that you can put together, and each one, you, I think, I haven't actually played the race, and I, I, I don't know a lot about it, but uh, it's pretty, pretty safe to say that uh, you can make some pretty neat designs, and there is no exception here. Well done, Ethan, I think you've got it. I think we're going to fast forward this part now. I don't know. No, you know what? We're not going to fast forward because I think he's actually going to get the kill. I think he's actually going to get the kill. I think he's... Yeah, he actually won it. He actually got the kill. 20,946 points. Well done. And uh, I hate to say it, Battleship, but I think you've lost. I hate to say it. So that's Sea Joker 98. I think you've lost. You did really well, though. You won uh, two full rounds. Now, this is the... So there's another tournament mode that you can play, and I think it allows every ship to fight each other. I think. I, I don't know. We, we could test it, but uh, it's it's a little bit different scenario. So in other words, the not every ship got to fight each other. So I don't know. It's, but this is this is more like a, a league fight. So uh, can he actually get the kill this time? He's he might actually end up doing more points. Oh no, he got the kill. Less points, but got the kill earlier. Well done. Well done, Ethan. That's awesome. You uh, you have won the day with Killer. All right. So shall we take a look, a quick look at Pool? Um, again, I don't, I don't really understand how this one works, but let's just take a look. So yeah. So it kind of everybody gets to fight everybody, as as I suspected. Now this will take a little bit longer. So while we do this, why don't we break to Lisa and I as we announce winners? Sound good? Perfect. Okay guys, I am here with Lisa and we are about to announce the last two winners of this particular contest. And before we do, I just want to say thank you 
To everybody that has left comments on these videos, it has been an amazing response from the community. I didn't know there were so many people out there that liked this game or wanted this game. And I gotta tell you, it's just been a blast just hearing what everybody has to say. And it's just been so much fun to play for you guys. And keep in mind that although this contest, this particular contest is ending, that does not mean we're going to stop doing contests. There's going to be contests here and there all throughout uh, my career on YouTube, whatever that's going to look like. I don't know what it's going to look like right now, but uh, you know, this is not the end. This is the beginning. There will be more. I'm like the Vanna White. She is kind of like the Vanna White. I'm like the Vanna White of uh, Deluxe Gaming. Does anybody know who Vanna White is anymore? Yes, I hope so. <laughs> except, except Vanna White's known for her the way that she she didn't she never talked. She I, has anybody those ever heard Vanna? Letters with gusto. She did. It was amazing. Actually. What was that game again? <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Thank you. I yes. Was, I was like, I know she turned letters, but what was that game? Oh, I, I need. We to... just about had another contest uh, there. What did. was that game? What was that game? Oh my <laughs> gosh. Okay. I have names. Okay. And I'm sad though that these will be the last names of this. For this particular contest. But that, contest. like I said, there's going to be more contests in the future. This is just one of many. And I, you know, I, I foresee probably not even too far into the future. I, I already have kind of one, another one planned. So, you know, stay tuned, but. Uh, um, just out of curiosity, what's my new job after this? Cause like I'm sort of out of work and there's no pension, no benefits and I'm a little, Well, you know, do I get to do anything else? Do I get to come say hi? I hate hi? to break it to you, but I didn't pay you for this either. Balls, really? <laughs> oh. Uh, was I supposed to pay you? We didn't agree on a, on a dollar amount. I would have liked a dollar amount. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'll hold that in reserve. Okay, before you tell me the name, you have to tell me, of course, because we've asked, I've asked every single time that we've done this, where you get the names from. And every single time you've given me a different answer. So I'm kind of curious, this final last time, where did, where, how did you get the names? Runes. Runes? Runes, like, you know, bones with little symbols bones. on them. Yeah. Uh, what, where, well, where? They're usually fin they're like finger bones. Where'd you get the bones, Lisa? <laughs> <laughs> where'd you Where'd you hide the poop, Lisa? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was digging through the garbage and I saw these bones. I could just picture <laughs> I could just picture your la legs dangling out of a uh, a dumpster. You picking out bones too. I'm listening to a book about autopsies right now okay people hide bodies in weird places anyways they're these finger bones with little symbols on them and you shake them like dice and then yeah that's how i come up with the names it's okay. awesome you should really get are you into telling this. me that there's finger bones nearby i'm saying somewhere in our home oh, wait, 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 wait 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 i don't i don't want to know i i think i ask way too many questions i think sometimes it's just better off not to know it's my women's mystique I don't think being a woman has <laughs> anything to do with the fact that you have finger. I don't. Oh, you know what? How about we just get a name? Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I, right. I was born ready. I know you were. Okay, you ready? Okay, yes. here we are. DJ Dubstep Dragon. Whoa! D DJ Dubstep Dragon? Yeah. DJ Dubstep Congratulations, Dragon. Congratulations, DJ yeah! Dubstep Dragon. I'll have to spell yeah! that one out. You could spell it, but you know, I'm just going to put that up on the screen anyway. It, it, there's, yeah, there's a lot of I'm just going to put that up on the screen right now. Actually, yeah. it's probably already been up there. Yeah, lots of consonants. All right. yeah, okay, you ready lots for the consonants. next one? Yes, I am ready. Guthrie Glasgow. Guthrie Glasgow. Oh, don't oh, ever I do that Oh, I butchered that, that again. didn't I? I'm sorry. Oh, that was awful. I'm Gu embarrassed for you. No, you're not. I am too. <laughs> By association. Goth go well, okay. Guthrie, Guthrie Glass. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. Maybe you're pronouncing it wrong. You don't I'm, know. I'm pronouncing it Canadian, so it's perfectly Canadian? fine. Yes, is Canadian. Is Canadian a dialect? It well currently is. Okay. I made it up. Pretty good, eh? Well, well done, eh? Congratulations, <laughs> Guthrie. Guthrie. <laughs> Okay. All about the game. Okay, now we're just getting embarrassing again. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yikes. Congratulations, Guthrie. Woohoo! And DJ Dubstep Dragon! And DJ Dubstep Dragon. All right. I will get those uh, codes out to you as soon as possible. Usually happens the morning after just because I have to think about it. I don't really have to think about it. I just wait until you actually watch the video before you get a message. So it just makes it more exciting for everybody. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. You're very you will welcome. Be, you will be invited back for the... Uh, 
next contest, whenever we do a contest. I and, like M&Ms. And Lisa is also playing RimWorld Alpha 9. If anybody wants to see Lisa play more RimWorld on the channel, please let me know, actually. I need to see requests in writing with um, the word squiggly poop in it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> if that's there, You're not the person that has to it. read all these comments, you know. <laughs> I know it's awesome. <laughs> oh, please don't. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks, Lisa. You're welcome. Appreciate See you guys. It. Bye. Bye. Okay, that's that. Well, there we go. The final results are killer. You got eight kills total. Uh, the piercing middle got six, and the alpha queen mother got six. I'm flattered, and I'm. I, I, I don't know, I just think it's great that I came in, I didn't think I would even do that well, but let it be known that one-on-one -on -one killer will destroy any ship in that league. So, the person to beat in all of this, what, we, what have we learned today? Well, it's pretty clear what we've learned. We've learned that Ethan, you make a heck of a ship, my, my friend. At 7,983p, we have killer as the winner. That is really, really cool. I really enjoyed that. I, I hope you guys have enjoyed this too as well. And maybe we can do, uh, let's do another quick uh, swarm. Okay, let's take another one of Killer's designs. We're gonna do, we're gonna do a small, we'll do uh, 3000p one here. Just really quick, just to, I don't know how much time we have left. I, I know I probably would have fast forwarded, definitely would have fast forwarded that last one, but we'll see if we can get somebody else in here. Uh, 3000, perfect. That's 3,000? Really? What's it got on there? Oh, this is fascinating. So yeah, if you want, guys, I'm thinking we could set up a league. We could set up we could set up these these little tournaments all the time. If you guys are interested, I would love to do it. So all you gotta do is, you know, let me know what ship you'd like to enter into the league. And of course, you will have to friend me on Steam. Uh, that's the only way that'll work. Uh, and and then I just pick it out of the friends list and we do a little tournament now as far as what you can win Well, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know because there's no point in giving a copy of the game To people who already have the game that are in the league, right? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense so um, these would be people that already own the game and uh, You want to enter the league go ahead enter the league and uh, we you fight against other players on, Via this account and we present them on the YouTube channel. I don't know. I think that'd be a lot of fun But we have to think what well, what why are we doing this? I mean of course for fun naturally for fun Okay, we're gonna let Kumta go in here, but let it be known that he is a little bit high there in P But I don't know. I'm just picking picking whatever I can here. So uh, uh, And I apologize if I missed you in any of this if, if I overlooked one of your ships you know, let me know and uh, we'll get you in on the next one. If you guys want to do another one of these, I, I don't know, I thought this was a lot of fun. Sure, we'll throw in the solar plant state. No, that's a station. Sorry, yeah, no, that, that doesn't work. How do we get that out? There we go. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to do more of these, I just let me know. I, I'd be happy to do more of these. That was super, super fun. And we'll figure out some kind of prize. I don't know if that's... Yeah, that's a ship. Looked like a station there for a second. And bananas. I loved all the ships. Every ship had its kind of unique flair. I thought it was really, really cool. Oh, I really want to know what that, what's on that ship that makes it 5,508p. That is crazy. Uh, I loved, you know, the carrier ship. Really neat. They all had their strengths and strengths and weaknesses, except for Killer. I, I was really struggling to see what your weaknesses were, Ethan, on that ship. Uh, very well designed. So the person to beat in all of this, if you want to enter in a ship to beat one of... Uh, Oh, symmetri symmetrical phagel blast. <laughs> ah, sure, we'll throw you in there. And, uh, oh, you know, we I really want to see... Uh, oh, that's right. Uh, let's see, OCD Wars. To to Tobomovirus. I really want to see him in action. I know a lot of you do too, but we're not going to do it here. And uh, any Elder Van designs. We're just going to do the quick tournament just to kind of end this episode. Uh, super, super fun. Oh, the pill bug. Oh. Uh, no factory. Pill bug, no factory. Perfect, yes. It's got some... Big engines on there, but that, whatever. Oh, that might be interesting. Big engine. And insectoids. Oh, no, we got insectoids. And anything from Aldrovan? No, nothing that applies for Aldrovan. So we're just doing another tournament with ships that are about the 3,000 range. I'm not going to write everything down, uh, but uh, we'll definitely do a shout-out if you win this. And we're going to do the bracket tournament, which is fairly quick. And it's, it works very much like, you know, like a football league or a hockey league where, you know, you get to fight... You know, these two fight and then these two fight and then these two fight. You know, it, 
Anyway, so we've got Jack's Destroyer versus the Swarm. The Swarm is another creation from Ethan. And I'm presuming it's the same kind of ship except without the big guns. So it's just got a lot of fighters on it. And it looks like it's starting to chew away Jack's shield. His front shield is down. Oh, oh, oh! <gasps> but Jack has a few more fighters than he does and he was able to win it well done jack well done okay round two so it is three rounds it's best out of three so of course if you win two then you win the match and the swarm the swarm is using an evasive tactic you can tell what they're doing it says right under their name under the points there it says dodging maneuvering dodging dodging <laughs> So it's kind of cool, and it uses different tactics for every battle, right? So right now, Jack is, is rushing, as he should, because he's got the upper hand here. The shields are going down. The fighters are about to break through. Oh, and the, and a shield went up, but it's too late, I think, for the swarm. There it goes down. Perfect. Jack's, dis Jack's Destroyer wins the second round against Ethan. All right, and now it's Coomtog versus Arrowhead. Both, again, I love... What is that? What weapon is that? <gasps> what weapon is that? Oh, that's an amazing... What weapon is that? That was amazing! It looks like it is also the rate, the faction where you have the customizable guns. I think that's another one. Same one that Ethan's using. Oh, neat! I love that faction. Is that ever cool? Well done, Coomtog. You totally ripped him apart, buddy. Indus Industructus versus my symmetri symmetrical Phagoblast. <laughs> uh, I don't suspect I'll do very well. Yeah. Yeah. For some reason, the Symmetrical Phaedro Blast that has longbows on it, which could keep range and do a lot of damage. And range is rushing. I don't know why. Oh! Well, I'll be damned. I won round two. What do you know? Okay, so Symmetrical Phaedro Blast. Those guns, if I actually do fire them. Whoa! I won. Holy crap. I did not expect to win. Okay. Good fight. Good fight. It was out of three. That was good. Oh, and the Pillbug versus Unnamed Spaceship. I don't know who that is. Uh, very small spaceship for 3,000. It's all shields. Oh, oh, that went down really fast. That's hard to believe that that's 3,000. It must be uh, factories or something on there. Something that uses a lot of... Yeah, it doesn't seem like a fair fight, does it? Yeah, the Pillbug won that. <laughs> I like the Pillbug. That was a good little design. It's got a lot of forward thrust anyway. All right, so now we have Coomtog versus Jax Destroyer. Oh, this will be good. So Coomtog has a, oh, if he just, if he hits, if he just turns a little to the right, turn a little to the right, Coomtog, and you've got that one. But if you let him just nail you with those fighters, you're going to be toast. Oh, 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 yeah, Coomtog. Yeah, I think you had that from the beginning, buddy. You had that from the beginning. Okay, here we go. We got Jack. He's launching the fighters and Coomtog. He has that laser out. He's just got to turn a little bit to the left. And it looks like the fighters are coming in. I don't know. Oh, he's got lasers on that sucker. Why weren't you using those before, Jack? Come on, Jack. Oh, Coomtog, you totally creamed him, buddy. Very cool. Very cool faction. I'm excited to play them. I think I'll do them next. Pillbug versus Symmetrical Phaedro Blast, which is, uh, of course, my two designs. I think the Pillbug should get this. I just think the Pillbug has is a little bit more well-balanced than the Symmetrical Phaedro Blast, but then... It surprised me last time. Yeah, Pillbug won it. Pillbug's, Pillbug's not a bad little ship. It's got uh, uh, rails on it. That's right. It's got the rails. Long range rail guns, right? And then why he would rush, I don't know. If I was flying that, I would kind of run away. And I think that's it. Wow, the right to the bitter end there, Symmetrical Phaedra Blast. It's amazing that I can even say that quickly, isn't it? And it's the Pillbug against Coopdog. I think, Coopdog, you are going to cream my ship. This is exciting. Here we go. <gasps> yeah, yeah. One more hit. We're toast. Oh, no, Pillbug, what are you doing? Go around, go around. Oh, oh, oh. Are you kidding? Wow. Well done. Okay, you can do that again. Come on, come on, you can do it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, well done, Coomtog. Okay, come on, we can do this. Third time's the charm. Come on, go around. Don't go, don't go into the laser. Go around the laser. Go around the laser. Really? Wouldn't it be funny if I had time to rebuild the whole ship? Uh, uh yeah. Well, it was, I put up a fight anyway. Well done, Coomtog. Awesome, awesome. Well done. What do you win? Well, you win the middleweight title, which is 3,000 P. Well done, Coomtog. Excellent design. I think that faction is really, really good. Can you beat Coomtog with a 3,000 P ship? Now, I will say, for the record, because... Coomtog was actually 
overweight. He was at 3,251, whereas most ships were under the 3,200. So I will say he was overweight, so it was a little bit of an unfair fight. But he is the one to beat. And the creator of Coomtog is... Hold on, let's... Uh, I think... Was it Metroforce? No. No. Who was it? Uh, Coomtog. Yes, it was... Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the one. Yes. So it was... Brunnen G. Well done. You won the Middle League, but uh, you're going to have to adjust your ship so that it's about 3,000p if you want to stay in the Middle League. That's the only thing. If you if you watch this and this becomes a thing, you've got to stay around 3,000 for the Middle League. What do you think? Or we could we could do it 4,000, but I don't, I don't know. 3,000 is more of a challenge to, to make a good ship that's able to do that kind of damage. That's pretty impressive. Anyway, guys... I hope you've enjoyed this. If you want to see more tournaments, I would love to do tournaments. And please let me know what you think we should offer as prizes. Because I would love to do prizes for this. Maybe not monetary prizes. Maybe you get featured on, on the channel or something. I'm, I'm not rich. <laughs> but I would love to do something for you guys. Or for the winners anyway. And, uh, you know, as it stands, if we do another episode like this, there are two people to beat. There's Coomtog at 3,000p. Coomtog will have to adjust you down to 3,000 somehow. And Ethan at 8,000p. Can you beat Ethan Ship? He is the uh, killer, I believe was the name. Killer. Uh, that's a very fitting name, by the way. Well done. Say, can you beat Killer? Well, come and try. And he's not even at 8,000. You know, he's got a few more p. So, I don't know. Tough Ship to beat. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.